Hey everyone, this is EA Gameplay and welcome back to Death and Taxes. So this is gonna be the last episode and we'll see if I'm gonna make everything right. Yes. Well, bad. You did it, Reaper. You have a trait. Your grandeur grows with every passing moment. Soon we'll be but mere moats beside your blazing glory. What are you rambling about? Bask in my splendor or mirror. It blinds, O oh sovereign. Forty thousand corpses for the bridge of advancement. Carry forth your deed of darkness, Reaper. But stop before it's too late. But I don't want to stop. Already getting a bit late as we speak. The dusk nears. Okay. So mayors cuts ribbon in the new small, a new mall people clap. Proposed pipeline would lay waste to thousands of acres of land, poison the groundwater for years to come. Poacher mauled to death by a pack of mountain cats in a seeming act of revenge. Morning Grim, you passed the performance review as expected, but let, let us not dwell on the past. A massive cold front has fallen upon the humans. Worse in a while, it does not bode well for the city, but does mean a lot of work for us. Total of the day, this human has to die. Six. So only two can survive. Okay. So you gotta live. I've got an achievement, Armageddon. So only, I know, I know. So there is still one, two, three, four, five, six profile and six has to die. So only one more can live. Butler, Takeda's has served the Bon Appetite family for 20 years until a cab ride changed their life. The decor, music, and jolly driver caused Takeda to experience an artistic awakening and they are now obsessed with the excessivist movement, taking steps to paint for a living. Nah, I don't know. Unemployed. I Ivan started looking for work right after graduation, but hasn't found one yet, mainly because jobs these days require them to have previous work experience. While the only way to get the required work experience is to have the job they're applying to. Meanwhile, they're training to be the world's fastest Onyx Cube solver. Professor. Tekomesh is a renowned professor of mathematics who enjoyed the, challenging their students with nigh unsolvable equation. It's the best way to force them into being more inventive and creative, they say. Lately, they've started tutoring a gifted janitor with a troubled past. Not sure. Okay, this does seem to be a right choice. Tavern Keeper. Stewart is the owner of a, costi, a, a cozy fanta, fantasy. Bleh, I cannot read. Stewart is the owner of a cozy fantasy literature team drinking establishment called the Netherworld in downtown Cosmopolis. They're the original party animal and love really obscure horror. They're also a member of podcasts about bad film. So you, I should maybe let you live. I know. Plebotomis. Trisha has been doing venipuncture for decades, drawing out large quantities of blood, sometimes feeling like a vampire. Lately, their health is taking a turn to the worse, making their hands shake as a symptom they keep ignoring because of that of that they keep missing the vein of patience. Yeah, you should live. So everyone else has to die. What will you do if the health is gonna go up? Oh, there you go. And I'm so dumb. I'm keep, I keep forgetting that the the number of death and le Psst. how do you live with yourself okay technically you are not alive anymore but maladies are ravaging the populace microbial forces having their way uh 
Isn't that good? More work for me. A complete failure of the human body? It's not that good. Not good. Oh well. Why can't they just stop getting sick? Harsh. <laughs> maybe. Or maybe not. You decide. You're probably powerless. Ain't anything you can do about it. Disease will spread until it engulfs all. Consider it a warning. I'm wondering if by doing what I'm doing, she won't fight me anymore. Well, she won't try to help me anymore. And what I was saying is that there's a counter, counter on the top of my desk which says how many I killed already and how many I let live. So I don't have to count each thing every time. Grim, my grand accomplice. Welcome. I forgot to ask you yesterday. How did it feel going through almost a whole week? On Same as last time, you should let me ask questions instead. And skip the endless delights of a daily overview? Alas, if only I could. I see you have marked the appropriate number of profiles. Yay! Yay. Honestly, this corporate mandate is growing a bit tiresome. Oh well. What must be done? Must be done. This reminds me. Have you any questions? Uh, it has been not a while really. since we had a personal. I'd dialogue. rather get back to work. Oh, one more thing. It was nice of you to gift Lady the little gerbil. I am sure she appreciates it. Although, personally, <laughs> I am growing rather tired of the incessant squeaking. Tough luck, I'm sure you'll manage. Oops, sorry. By the way, I noticed the toy behaving oddly, squeaking on its own and all. Yes, what is odd about it? I mean, how can that be? Is it alive or something? But of what? Course. No way. What is alive, Grim? What does living truly mean? The toy is crafted with magic, of oh. course. It holds the essence of a living little beast inside that rubber Mmm, this goes against everything. Cool. Magic sure is wondrous. That's sad. <sighs> Until tomorrow, Grim. Look here, Grim. How about we try out some brand new methods of strengthening the equilibrium? I have great faith in this technique of a more structural nature. A total of two humans has to die. Unforeseen wave of cold claimed the life of a number of homeless. The death of these people was completely unavoidable if the greedy realtor and corrupt politician had any damn sense. Local math professor found dead at home, suicide suspected. They've felt a lot of pain, perhaps it got to... It got to be too much, a long-time friend comments. Death toll from toxic healing with liquid rising rapidly. Desperate people try still convinced it it'll work. Barkeep and pill on the broad sword. So I'm not, I haven't seen any of them. And two of them has to die. Pilot. Franklin considered himself a hot shot pilot. Having modeled their demeanors after an action movie they saw at a young age. They wear large sunglasses all the time, drive around on a motorcycle, and attempt reckless stunt in their aircraft. Mitsumi was sentenced to community service at the Cosmopolis Politi Poli Polytechnical Institute after drunkenly assaulting a police official. After getting guidance from a local professor, they've started to reevaluate their relationship, confronting their past and thinking about the future. Economic policy strategies. Kathleen wrote the book of econ on economic planning. Literally, the last five years they have argued for the new way to organize and systematize labor and the production of, of resources, and for a different distribution of capital which often revolve around renegotiating regulation and corporate oversight. Oh no. Why this... Why did it go up? Junior researcher. Right after graduation, Caleb went to work at the Acidia Institution. 
Where they have been researching strange experimental pathogen, the goal is to achieve a potential breakthrough in human cell regeneration. It's a pretty dangerous job as it oftentimes in involves the use of a very sharp instrument. Well, you're experimenting with strange pathogens, so maybe I should let you uh, know. Grim, my fellow colleague, I have been deliberating a matter. Perhaps you can be of assistance. Should I become a writer? I could write many compelling works of fiction. I am an antique, after all. Um, I have much experience. I have an inkling of, of what you'll write, so um, maybe not. Now, now, Grim, you cannot so easily predict the mysteries of art. I shall continue my contemplation, but for now, it is time for daily feedback. Ah, all the files are in order. Excellent work. You are a testament to meticulousness. The cat mother is in contentment. Well, off you go now. I must return to my deliberations. So is everything doing better? Nope. Well, it's growing back up, but it's all still on fire, so... Human regeneration just around the corner, or, or just a pipe dream. A steam other author, author of economic research struck in a follow car accident. Young janitor revealed to be a hidden math genius. Fuck. Find answer to a conjecture unsolved for a century. Full hardly pilot SM completed aerial stun crashes aircraft straight into the ground. Check out these awesome, awesome personal jetpacks. A fresh idea. I hope you are still well motivated from our performance discussion. We are trying out another new structural method. Where well, so it's still the same thing. It's just random. So you have to live. So bottom row is three so three humans has to die film, film director connor is an avid fan of found footage horror which inspired them into directing film of their own they recently released a series of uh, educational videos using the found footage aesthetic titled all not to all not to get stabbed the fundamental of knife battle yeah why not you should live ah it's going worse Logistic Coordinator. Wilson is a very proficient logistic coordinator. The nickname at work is Smooth Operator. They also apply this skill to manage two separate secret family. Maybe you should live? Jaya is a mother of four who had their first kid at a really young age. These days they live together with an extended family. Jaya loves knitting and crafting. School bus driver. Zetian drives children to and from schools every day. Although it seems like a job that requires responsibility, they're usually pretty lax about it. Sometimes partaking in soft narcotics before getting behind the wheels. They say it makes them focus better. <laughs> oh, I have to kill the three of you. Sahira is a downtown bus driver. They're all they are all pulling double shift to save money for opening a small vegan muffin shop. They can barely make it to the bathroom or eat during their breaks. When they get home, they collapse in exhaustion. Neurosurgeon Elwa Ewald, a child prodigy, has been performing brain surgery since, since the age of 18. They are well established as a medical professional in academia and in practice. Ewald is addicted to adrenaline and is well known for taking great personal risk. There you go. Deathspawn, I have been ruminating on the humans. They vex me. Why do they exist? Their presence still seems unnecessary. 
Would it all not be simpler without them? I still don't understand your goal. There could be alternatives. Such as? Um... Why can we help the humans achieve more instead of destroying them? Help them? So their existence will lengthen? And we will never be set free? It's better than this ennui laden nihilism? If they could achieve immortality, you might be set free technically. Alas, if only that were possible. We are immortal, aren't but we? It is not. What's so different with humans? We are essentially magic. While they are mundane reality. Realistic matter which succumbs to realistic forces. Atoms, cells, proteins, endless biological processes. They will always break down because they exist in a land of rules, of laws, of physics. The end is inevitable. And for it to be different, the whole universe has to change. But then it will not be the same reality. Dang, that's a bummer. Well, I tried. Well, I appreciated the discourse. Good night. Say nothing and leave. Hey there. What you up to? Killing everyone? What now? The suffering. How many lives have you taken? Do you even count? Starting to look a bit grim, ain't it? I guess that's already in the name. Grim Reaper. So that's my name, so what? Nothing. Believe it's for a good cause, as always. It's not as if life and death are directly in your control. No wonder fate picked you for the crafting pot. Okay, so this is the same thing as before. Everything's on fire! Cosmopolis citizen dies in follow crash after tragic jetpack malfunction. Tomorrow, science research for experimental surgical cure for epilepsy altered due to grant withdrawal. Local manufacturing plant ruined by rampant incompetence. Couple narrow narrowly avoid death after a gold experimental toaster explodes and burns down house i'm gonna read that first every other profile has to die so there well, there's eight so four of them has to die for decades mary has driven grim right you need to keep your eyes open listen think have you noticed what's going on do your choices make any sense does any of this make sense to see what they're eating, you ought to mark this person death today. Okay. Everything's going good! No! So you're gonna live. You're gonna live. No. Ah, uh, I don't know. You're gonna live. You're gonna die. There you go. I'll see this one later. Firefighter. Russ and Jello joined the firefighters primarily to get access to free gym and to who people at bars by flexing and revealing how they save so many lives. Curiously enough, every time they're a big wildfire, they take sick leaves. And you should die if you not live. You're not doing much. Field researcher geology. Hayden is a geologist who is adamant in their belief that m micro scale steam mechanics are totally do doable. They dream of creating a micro scale model steam train by using this soon to be available technology. CEO. Theophania is the latest heir to the Ainer family. The family started off providing security almost a hundred years ago. With their initial Monitor C consulting firm, over time they acquired a number of, of factories and grew into the arms providing conglomerates 
now known as Sandal, Sandal Warner Security Services. Huh. Die? Now you were. You should live. Hello. Live. And die. Great. Grim, welcome. Remember when I told you of my idea to become an author? <laughs> I think I have reached a conclusion. You're obviously gonna do it, so let's just skip the, to the review. I, uh, well, yes. Grand artistry and all that. Anyway, we have some official business to take care of, yes? Uh, the tedium of profiles. Nothing amiss here, as far as I can see. Your adherence to the rules is admirable. Now I bid thee goodbye. The inaugural words of the greatest novel of all time will be engraved tonight. Necro Necropimp Achievement Unlocked. Meltdown at local power plant kills 100 and pollute entire's entire valley. Nuclear power are the risk are the risk worth it? We say yes. Earth scientist blows up along with their work, work sh while experimenting with microscale steam mechanical. Vast advance being made in research of reusable fuel cell. Researcher credit young talent involved in special project. Sundowner taking a massive hit in the stock exchange today as CEO accidentally shot during a drone misfire. Urban air quality worsening, stress level of citizen rising, are leaf blower the cause? Grim, I will keep this short, I am suspecting a systematic bias in our balancing mythology. Quote for the day, the last three humans coming from the facts as to die, so three of them. So you're gonna die? And I have to kill three of you, so... I'm not sure about you, and you're gonna live. Influencer content creator. Dale is a person of action. They like to create fun and mischief in order to spread videos of their achievement. Dale has over 1 million subscriber, subscriber on YouTube. Nicholas was sent to Cosmopolis City from a rival country to learn national secret, and nobody suspects them because they're a well-integrated sleeper agent. The success of their mission could prove catastrophic. They built in a family for cover, although Nicholas has become increasingly, increasingly attach, attached to them. Gordy says they are a physicist because they used to work in a physics lab. In truth, they spent all of their time at the warehouse opening crates with the crowbar. They were fired after breaking in a pool of the rare HL 3.0, compound the lab had, has been expecting for nearly two decades. Mm. Adina is an ambitious new ensure who is trying to get more into investigative journalism. After the recent nuclear meltdown, Adina decided to visit the site of the accident, determined to find an answer. And then get, let you die. I feel like you should live. If you broke the compound, you may be radioactive or whatever. Oh no. So one more has to die. And you... I have to let you live and I'll kill you. Grim, uh, why are you here? Oh, right. The daily. Uh, let us get. I see the exact amount of profiles necessary. Good job. Yes, that should Fine suffice. Fine, Barney. I'll imagine. go rest. Grand. Goodbye, Grim. The news beckons.
potentially spy on their investigation after leak of important records to the Quillian Intelligence Agency. Historians warn artifact looting on the rise, especially in formerly war-torn for forbidden. We have to do something about the looting that's re-escalating the conflict. Unidentified man found dead on remote alley clutching a raw chicken local homicide de department dumps truck. Earthquakes getting more frequent and devastating, expert blame fracking. ex physicist and loiterer arrested after eating several crabs with a crowbar for no reason. Analysts drown in hot, hot tub, police suspect alcohol abuse as a culprit and remind people to drink responsibly when swimming. Weather satellite crashes during orbital insertion, or budget cuts to blame. Any humans who seem suspicious as to die, so this is... Whatever. So you're gonna die. Science teacher. Alita is the type of science teacher communicator who enjoys having their pupils to a diverse array of experiments, some more explosive than others. No need to worry, they adhere to safety regulation mostly. You should live. <laughs> Supermodel. Anna spends all their time and energy on adhering to increasingly unreal beauty standards. After a gut-wrenching, painful week of juice detox, they still got yelled at for being a fat cow. During moments of weakness, they even tend to believe this claim and accusation. Yeah, I don't know, I don't I don't I don't know. Immunologist. Junio hopes to unlock the secret of the immune system and make it more efficient in fighting disease. They found a promising new approach in gene therapy. Junio spend most of their time in the lab but tries to go drinking with their colleagues whenever possible. As if born to lead in tense situation, Paul enjoy being the backbone of the armed service. After completing several important missions during the Wascat Grad conflict, they've now moved on to training new recruits. They've Emphasize having a calm head and thinking things true. Uh, live. As you enter, you notice that Fate's office is empty aside from Lady Paddington snoozing on the table. Sweet, more freedom from the yokes of the overlord. overlord. The old-fashioned phone suddenly rings with an ear-piercing metallic clatter, a familiar voice called from the static. Ha ha, Grim, jolly good. As you may have noticed, I am absent. I decided for a short vacation. It is a weekend, after all, and the free time will be essential for research. For the novel... Fine by me, I just need the daily review. But what of the conduct overview, you may be thinking? To be honest, I cannot be bothered at the moment. Now, I must go submerge myself. Toodles, Grim. Eh? It's very cold. When did that happen? I don't know. The, the earth is on fire, so it's not really cold. You're like a smart mirror. <laughs> we can assure you. There's nothing smart about this mirror. Or what's okay. in it? It's freezing. Everything halting to a standstill. Before... Before what? We don't know yet. I'm sure you'll find okay. out soon. Maybe in a new lifetime. When did you last smell the fresh scent of blossoming lilacs? Never. Heard the soft cooing of a puppy bird with a bright blue. Never? Felt the soft hum of the earth, yearning for attention. What are you talking about? I still feel those things. The rivers run dry and salt fills the lung of innocence. We can't tell if you're lacking in empathy or overflowing from it. Oh, proud reaper. Sometimes you cut too deep. Okay. Again? The loud and unbearable noise of conflict. The turmoil of a thousand different desires taken through violence 
Entitlement and toxic self-fulfillment. How do you feel, Grand Reaper? I feel disgust. Empty. Bringer of turmoil. Master of distress. Ambassador of disarray. Who knew you were so apathetic? There's not much that can be done now. Nevertheless, it's important okay. to learn. Are you gonna talk to me again? I dreamt the bags of sickly meat and brittle bone ceased to exist. Collapsed into a pile of bone meal and bubbling innards juice. From the mulch rose a new, better human being. Much more capable of living. Unburdened by weak spindly ligaments and fragile respiratory systems. It's saddening yet hopeful. It's an image that raises more questions than it solves. You imagine a golden trim to a rotten shack. These mad rambling aren't helping me at all. You don't know everything. We know more things under the stars than a reaper yet to open their eyes. Be seeing you. Okay. No, not again? Are you sure? I have been informed of a delicate situation. I trust that you will end it, handle it at, as usual. Five human has to die. Officer to revise and update their military instruction guide to fit modern st standards. Science teacher inspire a whole generation of youth through the many loud and bothersome explosion. Ex-model influencer draw attention to harmful expedition in the fashion business. Heartbreaking villagers weep after a hordes of crazed mice destroy the cheap supply, the cheese supply of entire village. AI breakthrough imminent promise founder of Trans Global Inc. Research into drone warfare show it's close to useless and woefully error prone. So five has to die. Okay. So you should die. You should live. You should live. Oh, I made a mistake there. Well, I bet everyone here has to die. From all of the available activities, Sigmund only likes watching TV, playing computer games, drinking beer, and eating pizza. We are even live streaming it all. They live with their mother and claims to have no mich mission in life other than wasting the world resources. Yeah, I don't have a choice to kill you though. Narrative designer. Roberta enjoyed crafting stories that made people feel all kinds of different emotion. Their main interest in exploring temple villain relationship dynamic. In their free time, they like to write midly erotic fanfiction and argue with nerves on Cocker. Right. Mobster. Dan Fierro tries to model themselves after the old Mafia novel and film without realizing those stories are made up by others who had no connection to or understanding of organized crime. Soon enough, they'll realize there are no honor codes and family-bound crime is just a crime. Well, I made a mistake there. As you enter, Lady Paddington is batting the rubber gerbil between her paws. The gerbil complains at every it. I uh, can't believe I gave the gerbil to the cat. Yeah, I know what. I know that field toy. See the violence inherent in the system. I know that field toy. Squeak, the crease falling toy squeaks. The cat pats the toy on the head slowly, her yellow eye glow with mirth. The old-fashioned phone again rings right as you settle in. The familiar and grainy no voice can be heard. I'm wondering why she destroyed everything again. Grim, ah, you would not believe the fun I am having. Such a transformation from the monotony of the office. It almost makes it all seem Keep quiet. Yes, you expect your daily summary. But I okay. still cannot find it in me to burden myself with this matter. So, great. Go. Last time she did that, she messed with my things. 
So will she mess with my things again? No. Yes. No. <laughs> a house fire caused by faulty electrical equipment claims the life of a youth. Researchers find numerous back doors and translocable ink products, granting access to any number of unknown parties. Crime bus gunned down on the street by rival mobster escalate turf war. Two human has to die. Guy, a most amiable person, come from a small village near Cosmopolis City. Graham, you're being set up. All of this is, fi is a fiction. A veil drawn over her eyes. You cannot trust them. You cannot trust fate. I have to hurry. Break to the illusion. Refuse to comply. And tomorrow, doom the one named Ron. Tomorrow, doom the one named Ron. Okay, Ron. I'm gonna write that down because I'm really not good with my memory. So I'm just gonna write this down. Run. Has to die. Okay. Okay. Smugglers. There isn't a thing Tris won't smuggle in or out of the country. Whatever it is, they'll find a way. Drugs, gun, endanger, animal, antique, and artifacts, even people. They have no scruple, no hidden principle. Cobbler. Leon can't even count the amount of shoes they've made. They dream of ma making shoes that gives an understanding of how it feels to be in other people's shoes. Because actually wearing other people's shoes doesn't really give any particular insight. Teacher. Tali teaches sex education in many different schools, helping adolescents navigate the twists and turns of physical and emotional evolution. They're a fan of ice skating, pottery, and very technical metal music, often traveling to concert and festival. So I only have to kill one more. I don't really do. Oh, you can die, I don't know. Yeah, it's gonna kill the economy, great. And live. Oh, you're back. Grim. Welcome back. No, seriously, why can I get a vacation? Because you do not need one, and because I okay. say so. Now, let us not waste time and get on with it. Right. I see the exact amount of profiles requested. At least someone seems to be up to their task. Oh, uh, whatever. It's none of my business, so I won't ask anything. Go away, okay. Grim. Isn't it going like you wanted? He's acting the same way as when I, I made the world a good place. Is your hand tired? Are your fingers no. getting stiff? You've been clicking around for quite a while. No, my hands are fine. Ah, you have the fortitude to keep on with yeah. the grind. Must be why fate I chose know. you instead of all the other Thanks for caring? Lost soul. No problem. It wasn't that easy. To the office. Where okay. you go. So I have to kill Run. Run. And there's another ask. Is there anyone named Run? There's no one named Run. Tigris cave smuggler runs amok across Cosmopolis City doesn't mold. Quota for the day go with the flow. <laughs> okay. For decades, Roma has been crafting some of the most creative and aesthetically pleasing interactive games on the market. Their works are known for the cutting, clever humor, and wildly fun character. An industry leader, they have inspired a whole new generation of designers. Oh, okay, so Ronald, so not Ron, but. So. Oh, shit. It was die, was it? Was it die? I'm hoping it was die. Okay. So go with the flow. So live. Oops. So I did both. I'll I'll see after. So live. Die. Oh, 
barista. A barista who hates coffee, that's Carmen. Since they find all coffee equally bad tasting, they unknowingly keep committing a grave sin when serving customer, eating up all coffee in a microwave. Love. Bicycle repairman. Repairing bicycle is Polter's life. They own a bicycle shop, designing custom bicycle and pimping up old ride. Experimental brakes, modification and neon light installation all are Polter's specialty. Uh. Yeah, live. You're gonna kill some people with those brakes. Retired novelist. For 40 years, Terry wrote charming, fantastical novels for youth and adults, adults alike. Up until their help began to deteriorate. They still try to write every day, but pr the process keeps getting more difficult. They also made a substantial, substantial donation to many health research trusts. Digital squirt commentator Alej Alejandro is well regarded due to their mesmerizing voice, quick wit, and hot, some say spicy takes. They also express themselves through cosplaying as their favorite video game and television show character. Alejandro is act addicted to painkiller. I don't know, you can die. And I didn't really care about you, so... Die. Grim, welcome. You know... Pursuing my art has given me insights. I have been thinking of humanity, of mortality, um, their importance, worth. I'm kind of busy right now, so can we skip it? You wish for a daily. No, I just want to leave. Instead of a thoughtful discussion, go right ahead. I will not be holding Great. you back. So I'm really hoping that I did have to kill Ron. Beloved video game designer Fadoli Poison of Adadaxis Sludge Pill, no tentacle found present. Last will of beloved author distribute many sizable donations to medical research. Fuck. Miniature fast breeding hedgehogs with poisonous spines are eating everything. Judge rules to allow a severely ill environmentalist to die peacefully. Cosmopolis city to miss out on incredible amount of taxes this year, as people keep keep hiding their finances under mattresses and inside the allowed out legs of table. Kneecap health seemingly on the rise. Teen dies in a freak bicycle accident due to brake malfunction. Severe drought, drought, world drought seen as existential threat to once booming agriculture. Four human has to die. So I've only known what you do, so you have to live. And then four has to die, so oh well. Former Kiwas live in four different countries, finally settling down at the Sun County wine region, where they now work as a viticulturist, whatever. They enjoy fast food, cooking and horse riding and have seven grandchildren who visit often. A generational farmer, Ergie has taken care of their family ranch since their adulthood. The ranch itself has been has seen, has seen better days, with the most of the livestock lost uh, to severe droughts and the machinery completely dilapidated. Ejiri is trying desperately to restore the ranch to working order with their small family. Lecturer, Majoran gives philosophy physiology lecture at the local university and writes self-help books as a hobby. They mix vague political and philosophical content into their lectures, although they lack any knowledge or education in either of those areas. Somehow they haven't been fired. Normally I would have let him live. Branch manager. Jamil began their career as a customer support agent in a well-known corporation overseas branch. They climbed up the corporate ladder and now are looking to keep the branch running through economic difficulty. They are currently visiting in Cosmopolis trying to negotiate additional funding. Ah, the beginning. It has the sweet taste of deliverance. Every blade of grass every ray of light it is a captivating day is it not yeah a magnificent moment for some death and so today's events are are part of your plan why certainly 
This is where it all begins, my friend. Marketing your talent. Okay. The end game. A futile fight against the inevitable. Ah, my high spirits leave me at a loss for words. Great. Not much else to say. Go on. Get back to work. I trust you to make the correct choices. I, myself, must concentrate. The muses have struck me. They beckon. Work to be done while there is still time. So it's going great. Psst. Hey, what, pray tell, happened to the world? The humans deserve what's coming for them? Good riddance. That's what they get for being loud and annoying mm -hmm. all the time. Do you know the story of the Wyvern and the Prince nope. Consort? Of course you do. A young, quick I should have said spare me with this one thing. By a Wyvern. Soon the beast and the prince yeah. found resonating ideas. They molded the land in rather inept ways. Okay. Then the Wyvern, tired of the desolation, okay. ate the prince. And Am I the queen? <laughs> Am I the wyvern? Great. Yes. I knew it. It doesn't matter if your mistakes were countless or few. As long as you learn. Okay. We are thankful of our time together. Even as it's quickly running out. It'll be pretty horrible from here on out. Nice. So only a few days to go. Six human has to die. Historic Ranch lets to fire in extreme drought, no suspected foul play. Economic Wonder King Kind found dead in local park. Officials suspect earth str heat stroke. More and more people dying of starvation in developing countries. House fire caused by loose wires investigation find. Death of viticulture tourists drastically lowers the overall quality of wines from Sun County. Famous burger joins Let's see that. Joe found their training in the roughest of Grimm. I warned you, didn't I? You know who's to blame for this horror. Fate can be trusted. No. He needs to be stopped. He needs to be removed, replaced. Spare the nurse for their assistance. Can, at the very least, alleviate some of the suffering. Uh, okay. Okay. As long as it go doesn't go too high. Six human has to die. So every one of them has to die. Vena is a person of simple pleasure. They are living out of their retirement in the rural areas of Cosmopolis City, waiting for not much else than the sun to rise the next day. They enjoy reading science fiction books and crafting lucky charms. Tain forms aquatic plants, mostly various species of microalgae. They never really been all that interested in the fish crustacean side of aquaculture, preferring to keep their attention on seaweed. Seaweed has many talents and uses after all. Vazilij has been serving tables since they enrolled in college to pay the, tu the tuition fees. They constantly dream of a better world, longing for their childhood simpler times. They plan on taking a gap year after finishing college to see the world as trouble as it is. Subway operator, so that's not something that, that I'm gonna say, is hunted by the suicidal people they've had to run over, even though there's nothing they could have done. They started writing a series of romance novellas about a nihilistic food delivery person and a religious library worker in the climate moment, one of them saves the other from jumping in front of a subway train. Gangster. A life of crime has been Annie's life since they were born. Part of a gangster family, they have taken a flight with much of their supposedly shared wealth and are looking to spend the rest of their days in an apocalyptic bunker. Henny is being actively hunted by the rest of their family in a vendetta. Critical cl climate scientists. As the whole ocean grows more hostile, 
Ildo has undertaken a top secret solo mission to nuke what is remaining of the polar ice cap in a wild attempt to cool down the planet. Ever since being a young student, they have always dreamed of saving the world and being completely misguided in how to do it. Okay. Three days to go. Grim, I find myself at an impasse. Lend me your thoughts. Should my prose be more experimental? Or should I stick to traditional narrative techniques? Words can express how little I care. Why would you even say The world that? is dying as planned. This book stuff doesn't seem relevant. The world is falling into chaos. We don't have time for this. Literature sucks. Yeah, doesn't seem relevant. Come now. We should take pleasure in the final Should we? Oh, uh, fine. Let us take a look at the situation. My, so much chaos. Pain and suffering are off the charts. Everything is on fire. While ice invades from the polar zones. How did that even happen? Endless mountains of trash, undrinkable water, Unbreathable air, toxic pollution. What can I say? Things do not seem to be going well at all. Well, things are doing well then. A tremendous accomplishment. Yes, knocked it out of the park. Though will be done, my liege. Never before have I felt such shame. I failed to stop it. Still can't believe I'm helping to destroy the world. Knocked it out of the park. Slam dunk, <laughs> yes. Touchdown. <laughs> There never was an alternative. I could see it from the very beginning. Had you truly wanted to stop the great dying, you would have yeah. chosen to act differently. All things must come to an end anyway. The desire was hidden. Yeah, ob obviously that's true. Ah, uh, what is done is done. These are the consequences you must live with while you still live. After work, Grim? Certainly you have no time to waste now. Here we go. Absurd scene as notorious mafia family seemingly massacred itself with it within fighting. The arranged scientist crushes by stolen nuclear warhead in Cosmopolis Harbor. Authorities utterly baffled. Real leaders warn of radicalization as disaster loom over humans' habitats. Filling supply chains cause starvation death all over country. Elderly people eat the hardest. Local fast food established raided by looters. Staff beaten with one dead from injuries. Collision throws two subway train off elevated tracks, both operators dead. Coral reef dying out at an unprecedented the rate due to pollution and ocean acidification. Two humans has to die. So you're go you're gonna live. And the two others are gonna die. Seal! Gaetano nicknamed Gaul was groomed from an early age to take over the family business, which happened to be one of the largest food and, be and beverage companies in existence. In their free time they enjoy long distance hiking and survivalist exercise. Retired. Mike's love bird watching and nature. Although they and their spouse live in the middle of the city, they've written six books about birds. They're still in good shape and go to dancing classes twice a week. I'm doing great. Mm, hello, Grim. I have been absorbed in my work. Tell me, how goes it out there in the wilds? I assume the plan is coming into fruition? Mayhem and bloodshed continues as planned. It just probably it's just probably spiraling out of control. As planned. We sowed the seeds, now reap the benefits. Endless rows of industrial smokestacks pumping out poison. Chemical waste pooling into the groundwater. A total collapse of the biosphere. My, my, it truly looks like the end. It's all I that I ever wanted. Death to humanity. 
a trooper to the end. Ah, you may soon find your peace. Goodness, look at the time, Grim. Precious moments wasted. Enjoy oh. your night. I sure will. You've done well, Grand Am I? Really? Thank you, thank you. You we both know that's not true. Yeah. Wasn't believable <laughs> at all. We lack the imagination to pretend this is a world where you were competent. So, what comes next? But I don't think I did anything wrong. You're the chatty one, so tell me how to fix it. Just leave me be. I'm in enough trouble as is. No, you're the chatty one. Too late. Unless you cobble together a bit of temporal manipulation. Mm. Hop over to a different reality and... Yeah, so restart the game. That'd really be something. Right, I'll just undo my universal... I'll just push my universal undo button. If such a button existed... It'd obviously be called like New World New Plus. Game Plus. Go on, Oddball. Nothing else to wait for. Fine, it's fine. Sums you right up. Either devastating mediocrity or destructive apathy. <laughs> We've reached the end. In general, I mean. Not with us. We will never be nice. you. So I won't be alone. As long as there is a you. There will be us. Until the next round. Almost done. Wow, that's a big... <laughs> the fewer many humans have to die, so both of them? Best footing found dead in their home with gunshot wound to the head. Investigation... Going on. Infrastru public infrastructure in ruin after city runs out of tax money. Unrest grow as world population faces imminent collapse. Insanely thorough science reports show mankind is utterly doomed. This drummer known how to rock. Their beats are fast, blah blah blah. Tomorrow, grim, the time, the time draw is near. Tomorrow will be, will be your ultimate choices. Right now, your last choice to turn away. Do you trust me? Are you in? Are you? Mark this profile for death. As the final test, display your determination. Yeah, I have to kill it anyway. Scientist! Yafi has finally gathered enough data to postulate that humanity is completely unable to cope with recent ecological changes. They recently published their work on social media in the hope of leaving a warning for next generation, if there is any. There we go. Last day. It is growing quieter, Grim. Not much left now. Finally, the world could never recover from this. Only one great dying required. It is not called great for nothing. The planet is virtually uninhabitable. The few remnants choking on noxious air. It is the last gasp of humanity. Slowly going up. It is a bit of a somber moment. Now that I think about it, I have been with them for so long. Anyway, and crucially, my book is nearing completion. Because how did I screw up so badly? I fail to see how that is more crucial. We are talking of exceptional art, my friend. A visionary breakthrough. Leave me to my grand labor, Grim. Tomorrow we shall deal with the final matters of this office. So unless I messed up with the run guy, I should be good with her, with her, I think. With the mirror people. Anything to say to me on the last day? No. Well, it should be easy. Do your job. Everything rests on its moment. You only have one final choice to make. What if for the day fate must die? I'm gonna kill fate? What? Trust yourself, your friend and benefactor? Mr. Fate, Age Infinity, Fate of the World. Your boss, the highest authority in the universe, has worked at the office for an incalculable number of years. 
serious perhaps a bit too austere and dedicated often fails to a temp of humor. Depressed, despondent, morose, extremely, extremely tired of their job. Hopes to end it through the destruction of the whole world. Holy fuck. I wonder what would have happened if I would have let him live. Oh, the music. Okay. Wow. I didn't think they would have made me do that. Anything to say to me? No. It's gonna be empty. It's gonna... Oh. Oh. Sit behind the table? <laughs> Yeah. This is what you were aiming for. I hope you're pleased. Uh, there was no other choice. Fate was out of control. Extremely, I deserved this. Then the whole world finally has a reason. Well, the whole world is destroyed because of me. You're the king, the king of the castle. All hail the king! What use do you think this had? The world is still absolutely yeah. Ain't a thing you can change now. Inherit the empty husk, soon to be void of life. King of nothing. Revel in your petty act of revenge. I can turn it around, fix everything. At least I got fate, got him good. I got... Can I turn it around? Well, at least I got fate, got him good. Be proud of your spineless coup. It's the only thing yeah. you have left. Ah, the last human stragglers left. Slowly dying in agony. Well, soon there's gonna be something else. Behold your throne, true death. The ultimate usurper. So I may not be... Achievement luck. Long live the king, cure cancer, and back to the roots. Mankind succumbing to its innate flaws. Society's falling. Humanity wipes out. As you stand victorious over the wasteland. Damn. That's a good ending picture. Damn. Fellow traveler, that was fun. Yeah. The choices, the excitement. Admittedly, ye did largely screw everything up. The world is in shambles and all. Can't really change yeah. that. But I can offer a new cycle. A turn of the hourglass, and ye shall be set upon a path in a fresh timeline. A parallel world, so to speak. There ye will again find every friend and enemy, hope and error. I no, wonder what would have well happened if I would have let otherwise, fate live. Tis the eternal recurrence of all things. Huh. Oh, no, 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 I don't want to do that. No, no, no. I'm gonna check this out. So, everything was bad. And I only got this, low health, low prosperity, chaos. So I'm, I'm missing one of the stats. I'm losing... I... Hmm. Oh well. So, that was it for Death and Taxes. I don't think that I'm gonna try any other ending. So, thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.